Okay, guy, another event on the docket coming up here in Ohio. I like that. I get to stay at home to cover events. But uh, you guys got the Defense Soap Cleveland Duels, a middle school duel championship, December 22nd. Talk to me about this event. Why Why in Cleveland? Why a middle school event? Well, we wanted to ha we wanted to have it at Cleveland State. Obviously, it's a great venue, and we wanted it to be invitation only, so it's an invitational. So we we went out. We started um, soliciting the hammer clubs throughout the country. You know, hammer K through eight clubs, and we, we compiled a pretty nice list of teams, and um, it's still adding. The commitments you have right now are all, they're off the chart. You know, Ben Askren, Askren Wrestling Academy, uh, pretty pretty good. Palmer trained one of your former. Athletes at St. Ed's four-time state champ Colin Palmer. Palmer. Um, I, I look at some of the other ones. Um, when I see that you guys are going to have some Indi uh, some PA teams, I really like PA teams coming in. Hey, what PA teams are you guys trying to get in here? Uh, well, we, we're really happy. We have the the Young Guns um, team that trains out of the compound. The, that's the number one club in the country right now. They'll they'll be bright gold pool winners at um, Virginia Beach. So that was a big big team to get for us. We're really happy with that, and, and they got it going on over there, you know, that Young Guns um, group. Strip so Matter Brothers? Yeah. They do pretty well. Yeah, they do well. When you look at this, though, bringing teams in like that, you know, Indiana Outlaws, that's another really good club. Um, how important is it to make an elite event for you guys? You know, you're not going to fare. You're, Westlake's going to take some lumps here. Oh, yeah, my team's going to get beat up in this thing. <laughs> yeah, you look but, at it like, why? Why? You know, why? Most people want to bring in a bunch of ringers they can beat. Not you. Why not? Now we're all about the competition. I'm doing this kind of like a little selfish, and obviously it's great for my company. But but my kids are gonna get to wrestle the best kids in the country, and you know it's at home, what, what could be better than that? So it's gonna be it's gonna be really good. We're all, all about the competition. I mean, we we develop kids for St. Ed's wrestling. Our kids have to be ready to wrestle a national level tournament. You look at Cleveland State. Josh Morris, the new head coach. You know it's gonna be hosted by Cleveland State at Cleveland State. Um, you're, you made the NCAA tournament for Cleveland State. What's it like to give back to your alma mater and, and, and you know keep things in Cleveland for you? Uh, it's rewarding. I mean, wrestling's given me everything that I have. So, you know, you have to give back. So why not give back to the college that you wrestle for? You just told me about your NCAA bracket. Who did you wrestle at the NCAA tournament 126 pounds when you made the tournament? Uh, I was actually 134 when I 134 made it. 134 when you made it. Oh, uh, I wrestled Lehigh Kid. Uh, because Frick or Epperly, I can't even remember anymore, but whoever it was beat me, and then they had John Smith the next round, so I was eating ice cream cones while the tournament was, it was going. Because it was follow your man. Yeah, it was Your man had to make the finals, right? No, they had to make the semis. They had to make the semis. If they so made the semis, you were still in. And what year was that? That was 88. It, so he was Olympic champ that year. Yeah, it was not a good bracket. Did you see, were you like, oh man, when I saw when you saw John Smith, what were you thinking on your bracket? Well, I, I made the brutal mistake of looking past your first opponent to... I got John Smith second round type deal and didn't make it there. He was defending world champ, I think. I think he won in 87. All right. I know he was tough. <laughs> he was really good, right? Uh, you know, what else do you guys want to see? Are you at capacity here back to the duels? Are you guys where you want to be at with this duels? Are you, are you maxed out on teams or is there still some opportunities? Um, we are maxed out on teams. We're just waiting for the commitment from a few other um, teams that we invited. And they're all they're on the bubble. Like we got, obviously everybody's still putting their schedule together. And then we'll go to our next level of, of we have a waiting list that we're going to go to. Um, we're we're making this a prestigious event. We want this to be an event that people want to come to. They want to be a part of. Um, and we're going to do it right for the kids. You have a growth mentality. Um, you know, as far as a business, it's a slow growth mentality. You didn't try and go for 24 teams right out of the gate. Why do you want to keep things small? Why do you like to think keep things so exclusive? Why do you you know operate the way you do? You know, it's kind of like a company. Um, quality is better than quantity. Um, we, if we can if we could provide the best tournament, handle twelve teams with the best tournament, best kids, then maybe next year we'll think about opening up maybe six more teams. Nothing worse than coming out the gate and falling flat on your face. And we're not going to do that. You know, so slow, steady growth. All right, December twenty second, Cleveland, Ohio. It'll be on Flow Wrestling live streamed. Yep. I'm excited. I know you are. You got anything else for me? Well, you're going to be busy, Zeb, because we're going to use you for interviews. You're going to come in uh, the night before to the host hotel, um, the double tree, and we're going to get you an inside look at these teams and, and how their coaches prepare for this event. And I think it's going to be pretty enlightening. All right. Hey, thanks for the time. December 22nd, we'll be there. Elite event, Defense Soap, Cleveland Middle School Duels. I'm excited.